All right, everybody at Mountain Bike Action, I'm Sean Rodzinski, tech rep for New England for Shimano. And we're here at Interbike 2014, and we're going to talk about XTR DI2. DI2 has been in our range now for about six years. Uh, it's in its second uh, kind of full redesign. And options, precision, and all-weather performance were something that we always got out of Road DI2, and a shift confidence that people were never used to before. So as introducing this to Mountain, we're taking a lot of firepower uh, into the dirt with this. And what we're really going to push for the next couple um, dimensions with this is options. Options, different ways of, of riding the bike, different ways of setting up the bike, and just no set parameters for what direction you can go with this. So the Two things that I really want to stress on, on talking about this kit are the Firebolt shifter, which has probably spent the, got the most amount of work to make this uh, group really happen, and Synchro Shift, which is something that's uh, going to really, really push um, how you think about setting up your bike. So being that we already had probably quite a few shifters that really would have worked on a mountain bike that were already in the catalog. Uh, as we thought about this shifter, we realized that mountain bikes have much, much different needs than shifting with just a button. So what we've done is we've actually made a very um, mechanical yet button actuated shift happen. And we wanted to make sure that you wouldn't be in a situation where you'd accidentally bump shift anything. But we also still did want to get that absolutely super short throw and uh, just better ergonomics all around, so your position can really be tuned a lot closer. Uh, we're looking at <clears throat> independently adjustable levers. We're looking at four positions per shifter, two clicks on each lever. All four clicks are tunable to do anything that the bike can do. So you're not locked into your front shifter being a low gear and a high gear, or even this click and that click doing the same thing as each other. As we move into synchro shift, we also knew that with all the options for setting up your mountain bike and knowing that you want to be able to control your suspension, you want to be able to control your dropper post, which has really revolutionized how people ride their bike, we wanted to uh, have the option of leaving one side of your cockpit clear to get some more controls on there. But we also knew that most riders are really not best served by a single ring setup. Um, and especially knowing that we have a confidence to our front shifting that's unmatched in the industry. So we wanted to give you the opportunity to still run a full gear range, yet still have a very clean cockpit and have the options to control more stuff on your bike. So Synchro Shift is a system that's going to let us toggle through different modes on the bike and run both derailers simultaneously from one shifter. And what we'll be doing is making a shift and you can hear an audible tone and that's when the bike will basically tell you that your next shift is going to be both derailers at the same time. You can tune the shift points when the front derailleur is going to decide to go down and either make recovery shifts in the back or not make recovery shifts in the back. And it's an endless amount of tuning. You can build two maps in the system on etubeproject.com and plug them into your bike and manually toggle right between them on the bike. So you can set up a, a system where you would say have each gear ratio be an equal step through the bike. Um, so that would mean that maybe you'd make a couple of recovery shifts through the, through the range. You could also set it up so that the bike really just stays in the big ring all the time until you run out of gears and then it dumps. Um, and you're also not limited to the bike going back up the stack in the same way that it went down. The, this is going to be a, a really, really cool setup for, uh, for options and for how you ride your bike. All the while, plug and play. You throw your front shifter on and now you've got a normal front shifter. Also while running synchro mode, you can override the front derailleur anytime you want if you're running the front shifter. So the options for it are absolutely limitless. With that said also, 
the new 9000 series cranks are completely modular. So it's one crank for double, triple, or single ring. So if you had a double setup with the front derailleur and, and your shifter, you unplug the, unplug the front derailleur, unplug the shifter, throw the single ring on there, and it's one derailleur to run all of those crank options. So what we really knew was that uh, there's no one right way to set up a mountain bike right now. So we wanted to have as many options as humanly possible. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Sean. Um, keep an eye out. We're shipping to OEMs right now. This is going to be uh, taken model year 15 by storm. And uh, anything you want to learn more about with Shimano, you can go to Shimano.com and uh, f uh, plug in your dealer locator and you'll actually find uh, our best trained bike shops in the industry.